This is awesome! One of those open marriages. Wow. Is hair matter more than sport in cars? Mum is hungry. I'm terrified to die like my father. My name is Beck Mac. I'm an artist, a performer, a video maker, a mother and a wife. I have been obsessed about talking to people about love. You in love at the moment. You in love at the moment. I'm in love with the moment, Ray Six. At the moment, I am in love. Whether it's the thing they love, the thing they do, or the person they are with, I have travelled the world. Oh, in the yard. Find out the meaning of the word love. And now I want to share with you some of these amazing stories. Well, I couldn't make any vows last show, but this show I am going to make a vow that here is my favourite episode from Beck Mac Series 1. Love you, Brisbane. Enjoy. Love you, Brisbane. Yes, my hometown. And tonight on the Beck Mac Show, I'm looking at, do we still love you, Brisbane? But first of all, I want to show you an ad that was on TV when I was a kid. And it sort of sums up the vibe around how this city felt about itself here up in the tropics in the north. The Brisbane Bitter ad for you. <laughs> any more boobs and bums in those shots? I actually think it's a bit of a masterpiece myself. But what I'm interested in finding out is, has Brisbane evolved since then? Is it still about bikinis, beers and Barbies? Or has there been a cultural revolution? I've decided to chat to a few prominent Brisbaneites about how they feel about Brisbane and do they still love your Brisbane? My first guest tonight is Anna McGahn, a young hot actress who's been an underbelly and house husbands. Beautiful, how are you? Very well, thanks. How are you, Aphrodite? I'm so excited to have you in my clam and all these beautiful Brisbane people out here enjoying it. It's fantastic. Does everyone notice my parrots on my curtain? Does that remind you of your childhood, Anna? Very much, actually. <laughs> my bird looked like that. <laughs> beautiful. Now, how has it shifted your vision of Brisbane from that memory as a childhood, round the pool with your bird, to where, where you see Brisbane now? Brisbane's growing so much, it's developing so much, particularly in the arts, yeah. which I'm obviously very passionate about, and yeah. so are you. It's, um, it's really exciting to see, but it's also, you know, it's, it's interesting. I, I feel tentative. I'm kind of like, well, where are we going? Like, yeah. what, kind of what direction and, and who's steering this? And I'm, I'm really excited, particularly for 2012 and, and seeing what Wesley Enoch can bring um, to Queensland Theatre Company and just Brisbane as a whole. Yep. So now if you were the mayor of King George Square, what would you like to see, Anna? I'd love to see the lift that goes right up to the top of the clock tower just working 24-7 because I went there when I was 16 and the first time I was in love yeah. and we went right up to the top and, and stood up there as it struck 12 and it was just amazing. Would, would, would you say that's the most romantic spot in town? Definitely. I wouldn't mind popping up to that clock tower and having a little pash. <laughs> now next up, I have Richard Bell. I'm a massive fan of Richard's. He's an amazing artist. He lives and works in this town. In fact, his studio is just down the road. 
I was very excited to have an interview with Richard. Everyone, Richard Bell. Richard Bell is one of Australia's most celebrated visual artists, um, known often for his no-nonsense work. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Love TV booth the amazing Richard Bell. Now, where were you born? I was born in Charleville, um, out in southwestern Queensland. Um, dusty little place, you know, gets flooded every now and then. And what do you remember the first time you visited the Big Smoke when you came to Brizzo? Um. I, I don't know whether it was the first time I came, but I, I can certainly remember um, coming here. It was, it was amazing. I remember coming to this uh, square here um, and looking at that building and, and a massive Christmas tree. Um, All right. Yeah. Just like you are now. Absolutely. Now what did it make you feel back then? Small. Uh -huh. I was really little. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid. I was like, yeah. and then I look it up and uh, Everything was big. So. What do you see your role as the artist? Like you're oh, dealing with all these massive issues, and um, and and you know, how, how do you see? You know, what's your what's your role? Do you think? Um, I, I think it's to provoke thought um, about uh, lots of things that wouldn't necessarily be spoken about um, unless uh, people such as myself um, actually brought them to the attention of, of people. But we are going to have more fun now in Brizzo, aren't we? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, look, uh, this is a great city. You, know, like, um, you asked before the difference between you know, uh, New York and, and Brisbane. You know, what I actually noticed was that the best artists uh, uh, from all the different countries you know, um, that I met over there, they were uh, on par with, um, with our guys here. And our guys here are just as good as any of those uh, over there. It's the same in all walks of life, like in, in sport, you know, like um, we're, we're very competitive. Well, you know, like it's the same with art. We're very competitive, you know, like uh, business, you know, like um, with you know, crime and all this sort of thing. We match everybody <laughs> else. Just. Sexiness. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Richard. Cheers. It's been fantastic to have you in my clam. <laughs> we'll be back after this break to talk to more Brizzos about do they still love your Brisbane? This is awesome. One of those open marriages. Wow. Is hair matter more than sport in cars? Mama's hungry. I'm terrified to die like my father. 